Welcome back. This is part three. Here's the sprocket going on the wheel. By the way, this bit is ineffective. The completed wheel going on the truck. It's hard to film and do stuff at the same time. You get the idea. Boom, on there. Okay, so the wheel's on. And we have a good look at our sprocket next to our engine mount and this is where the engine needs to go right there the trick is going to be finding the right amount of tension for the motor and the right distance here's a quick look at the basic structure of the rear engine mount this is the one I cut for the side that will be near the chain and this is the one I'm about to cut for the other side of the engine and these pieces that hold the engine onto the uh, fenestrated steel here are uh, left over from uh, taking off the other machine here's the motor in place a few of those screws will be changed out. Here's the old heat guard. I may add that on there. Here it is in motion. Here's a quick test to make sure everything works. Everything's all plugged in now, by the way. Negative and positive terminals and the uh, uh, main power switch. And here, here we go. The motor's back off and I'm just, I made a couple more modified pieces of metal and they're going to help secure the top portion. Made one there and this one here and it fits there, fastens on top there and it has an underside piece that's going to fasten on the bottom. Here's the motor mounted finally and reinforced. You can see there's a significant amount of hardware that I put on there and a significant amount of metal that I bent to get it to the right place. One of the hardest things was the alignment of this right here. A lot of bending and hammering. Just about complete. It looks like this uh, thing on the bottom is not too deep. When I stand on it, it does have some flex like I talked about before but it's it doesn't seem to interfere which is good so I'm gonna hook up the on off switch and the throttle switch this is an old screwdriver holder that mounts on the wall like this and I cut it in half and you can see this half right here and I cut some holes in it and I put the on off switch I mounted it in that and then I screwed it to this uh, metal piece This is the thing I rigged up from the spare parts. Always save your spare parts. This is what's left over from the whole thing, all the stuff that I took off the scooter. And this is just gonna I'm gonna zip tie I'm gonna zip tie these things after I attach this underneath here because I'm using a leftover hole where the uh, where the uh, the binding was. So that'll go 
just like that through there. And um, I'll adjust this screw just enough to poke a little bit of the threads through. And then I'll put another nut on top of it, and that'll be a nice, and this will be a nice um, lever to, or, you know, something to attach these uh, cords to. Here's a last look at the bottom. This is the cord, or the cords that go to the engine, and I just put a little, I had a leftover part from the other machine, and I just mounted that, I just screwed it right to the deck. And here is the, the throttle cord and the on-off switch cord. That one runs right back under here. And here's the finished product. And let me run the engine for you. Okay, mission accomplished. Finally. There's the on-off switch. Here's our throttle. Should have enough power to push me around. And I'm pretty satisfied. How about you? Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed doing the project. You can do it yourself. All it takes is some hardware from Ace and a couple of purchases off of eBay and some hard work and you'll be able to do it. Good luck.